The Phoenicians, an ancient Semitic people, flourished abundantly under Egyptian rule around 2000 BC. Phoenicia, based on Egyptian land, prowessed an expansive maritime trade network lasting over a millennium, facilitating cultural exchange among major cradles of civilization, such as Egypt, Greece and Mesopotamia. Semitic peoples included the Middle East, Arabs, Jews, Yehudim, Akkadians and Phoenicians. This biblical terminology for race was derived from Shem, Hebrew Shin Mem, one of the three sons of Noah in the book of Genesis. After the great flood, Shem from Hashem, the name, Yepeth and Kem, Egypt, survived to repopulate the earth. Yepeth was the progenitor of the European peoples, Kem the progenitor of the African peoples, and Shem was the progenitor of the Semites, a title formerly given to West Asian peoples. The word Shem, meaning first, already existed in ancient Egyptian Medu Neteru for phrases such as the Shemsu or first successors of dawn light, the Shemsu, followers of Horus, and Shem Sekem in the name of Egypt, first power. Though not the first of all, as there were pre-Adamite peoples, Shem and the Semitic peoples were perhaps the first of the god Hashem, Yehu. Nevertheless, the Phoenicians directly succeeded the Bronze Age Canaanites, who also flourished on Egyptian land, Canaan, Amu. King Hiram of Tyre provided the biblical King Solomon with Phoenician Egyptian cedar and fir, artisans and stonemasons for the construction of his temple in Jerusalem, according to the first book of Kings and 2 Chronicles 13 to 14. The art of glass making learned from the Egyptians was further developed by the Phoenicians, also weaving linen from Egypt and silk from Persia. The Phoenician seafarers became fantastically wealthy, prospering from Egyptian lordship. Their thriving trade influenced classical Western culture and the Greek, Latin, Arabic, Hebrew and Aramaic alphabets. The earliest Aramaic script used the Phoenician 22-letter alphabet, an abjad alphabet only of consonants. Vowels were inferred and it was the first alphabet written only right to left, a direct development of the proto-Canaanite script, itself a derivation of Egyptian hieroglyphs. The Phoenician letters are a simplification of their hieroglyphic equivalent, spreading the language throughout the Mediterranean. The collapse of this great civilization occurring 859 to 824 BC, when the land was conquered by the Assyrians. Forced to pay heavy tributes for centuries, by 738 BC they were under total control. By the close of the 7th century BC, all was lost to the takeover of the Neo-Babylonians. Humanity prefers the pacification of peacefulness and pleasantries, falsity and facade, yet only the arcs are enlightened and angry. The more complexity a language demonstrates, the more sophisticated the comprehension of reality. Meju Neteru, ancient Egyptian, was the language of the gods. In ancient Egypt, the color purple was reserved only for royalty or those of high status, especially the highly valued Tyrian purple made from mollusks, a species of sea snails. Tyrian purple, also known as royal purple, was the most valuable thing in the ancient and medieval world. It was worth more in weight than any other substance. The name Tyrian refers to Tyr, Lebanon, once Phoenicia, ruled by Egypt. 
around the middle of the second millennium BC, Phoenician cities came under Egyptian rule, allowing Egypt to dominate trade all throughout the expansive Mediterranean Empire. The expansive and exclusive purple, introducing hues from vibrant hot pink to luxurious violet to sensuous aubergine plum. Purple became synonymous with elite. Early Egyptian artwork used only four main colours. Red, desha for males. Yellow, kenet for females. Blue, urtu for protection. And green, waj for resurrection. White, hedge or shesep illustrated the sacred. And black, kem was interchangeable with green and Osiris, Osar.